It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Hello and welcome to a month of influencing January. Yeah, it's actually December today. Yes, December 28th. Yeah. Okay. This is more like a month of planning right now. Because right now we're just talking about next month. Yeah. But something that I, I'm super type A and I'm very like physical media, I guess is the word that I want. So I don't do all this on my iPad. I do mostly stuff on Canva that's like for other things on my iPad. But for like every month that we have, I don't think there's anything spicy on this, no. Um, in the back of my planner, in the back of that month, I do to do and then goals and then YouTube ideas and then I do like influencing income that we made that month, um, including like ads and stuff. So right now I'm setting up a planner for next month. Um, I also have this weekly planner that I just bought. I, that started next week because today right now is Wednesday <laughs> and I didn't do one for this week because uh, we're having depression this week. It's been a week. lot. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, so we're starting next week. But also over on the side, I put like, um, like who we're waiting on money from. Yeah. Which is nice to have like quick and handy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so what I was going to invite you over here for. Yes. It's for YouTube ideas. Oh, okay. So I think we should do, we're doing a month of influencing. Yep. Um, I could do a book one. I would love for you to do a book one. Okay. Um, uh, don't have the only like big thing that we have scheduled right now for January ad wise is we're getting a thousand dollars for the lesbian exhibit. Yeah. Which is very cool. Yeah. It is cool. It's not we're also getting to... like a free hotel room. It's yeah, it's not. Well, we also need to book one for Kyle cause Kyle's going to be in town with us. That's true. And then I think I'll just say, like, we're happy to buy another hotel room. Not a big deal at all whatsoever. And just, like, see what they say. Because they seem super laid back. They also are, like, very apologetic about only paying us $1,000. Which, honestly, like, $1,000 is a shit ton of money. Yeah, because we were going we to YouTube it. Like, it'll be a fun little... Oh, my God, It's yeah. only in Eugene, so, like, in theory, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to stay the night. No. But it will it be It does easier. make it much easier for us because it's, like, a full, like, hour drive. Um, but in general, when we work with brands, we do pricing based on a lot of different things. Our technical like rate for an ad currently is three thousand dollars for TikTok. Um, for TikTok, I would say we almost never get that much, which is part of the reason that the rate is set that way. Mm -hmm. And it's because when somebody says like, "How much do you guys charge?" It's so that our opening number is something that I'm fairly certain they'll try to talk us down from. Whereas if you start with your opening number at fifteen hundred, then they're going to be like, "Can we give you seven hundred? And yeah. it's like. No, because that's not worth it to us because our platform is big on TikTok and you take a hit on your views every time you post an ad and like all these things. We don't want to annoy our followers no. with ads. No, they're paying to take up the brain space of our followers. So I'd much rather do very infrequent ads. If it was possible, if we could do like three ads for big companies a year and get like $10,000 an ad, like that would absolutely fuck. I would much rather do that and then a bunch of little ones for small brands. Yeah. Um, Hello, Influencing January. I am editing YouTube videos for our grocery thing. And then right now I'm filming for the Influencing January video. And then after that, I have to um, do our cabinet video. I have to paint the cabinet more and also uh, finish up editing and posting the cabinet video. Um, that This isn't exactly influencing like ad work. Obviously this is just like content that we're making and working on, um, but like YouTube is a way that we're trying to make more money on the internet recently. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for turning it on in the background. When your dogs are, are alone or your cats, probably more likely cats, um, we do make money from that and we appreciate it. And it's the easiest, the easiest, lowest energy, no paying any money way to help us out. So that is what I'm doing now because I feel like we haven't posted anything on YouTube in at least like eight days. And the last couple things we posted were just like stream like cuts, but we'll be streaming later today because it's a Friday. We stream in the afternoons on Fridays. 
um i don't think oh we have a couple of ad things coming up we have one with our sticker cuties um queer ivy art stickers and then there is a um sex educator person who has like a webinar that we're doing work with which is really really exciting um so those are two like small brands that we're working with i'm very very stoked about we're in Portland. We're here in Portland to do the Plus Size Clothing Swap, which is uh, an event that we do monthly. We don't get paid for it, really. No, we, um, uh, Lemon offered to pay us, and then they paid us with a tattoo, like, the first time, essentially, and yeah. then we were like, you know what, we'll do it, just because we're friends, and, like, we think it's a nice thing to do. Also, they make us dinner afterwards, usually. Yeah. Which is very fun, but we have recently had folks reach out and say they want to donate things to the Clothing Swap, so I posted something about that, saying, like, if folks want to donate things, that would be great, um, assuming that people were going to think that I meant clothes on account of it being a clothing swap, and we yeah. got some folks reaching out saying, like, hey, I have other cool art pieces, um, so right now, we're picking up some ceramics that we're very fucking excited about. Yeah. I don't even know what they're going to look like or... They're mugs. <laughs> what? That's what they are! I think Oh, well, they're mugs! <laughs> I did it, is what I was trying to say. Oh, well, these are ones that they're not selling anymore. Yeah. So. That's exciting. They're like, they're like, dead stock. <laughs> they are dead stock. Yeah. So that's so, exciting. I'm excited about that. Someone else also asked if they could donate. Someone's donating clothes that I'm really excited about that are going to be coming in the mail. And then there's somebody else who's donating little, like, hand tray things that are 3D printed. Um, we actually have to talk to Lemon about it because we haven't yet. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, we're just going to obviously keep them on a separate table from where, like, the things that they're actually selling are. But none of those things are anything like what Lemon has. No, yeah. Uh, doesn't have any mugs. At Sunny's house, so it should be good. Um, yeah, very excited. Here to pick up mugs. The clothing swap is from two to five and we live in Salem. So we drive up to Portland, usually get lunch or something. And then Yeah, the last time last time we got here beforehand because Phoebe did the felt and ornament workshop. Yes. And the time before that we got here early because Phoebe had a tattoo. Yeah, and now we're here early to pick up ceramics. Yeah. So you know, and then I think we might go to Fried Egg I'm in Love today. Oh, I want Fried Egg I'm in Love so, so bad. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, well, I guess we'll tell you how the, how the, how the clothing Yeah, maybe went. we'll film a little bit at the swap. Yeah, at the shrap. At the shrap. Just spent the last hour answering emails, um, to folks who want to collab with us and then also emailing back and forth with, um, a small business that we're going live with their ad, um, today. And I was, um, just doing like the text overlay on their video and I wasn't sure exactly what link they wanted to use. So I was like, fuck, I hope they respond quickly. I'm very irresponsible, but it was completely fine. And they're absolutely lovely and so yeah. cute. And they respond really quick anyway. So it wasn't a big deal. Um, you spent like at least three hours, probably every day this week. At least, if Answer not four. Or out yeah, yeah. I also filled out like an entire thing um, to do a collab with Nintendo. If you go on their website, you can essentially like apply as like for a sponsorship. I don't think they're ever going to respond, but I did fill it out and I was very thorough and like wrote a cover letter and everything and like created an entire new like media kit. And I think honestly, I'm just going to send that media kit to everybody when we reach out to collab now because I think that it works better to have it like separated like that. Anyway, we're doing more planning. So hold on. Okay. Today is January 13th. It's Chad's birthday. Happy birthday, Chad. Happy birthday, Chad. Um, From the future. Yeah. From the past. From, yeah. Anyway. Um... So yeah, Phoebe spent probably like at least I would say between two and three hours. So cold. Yeah. Um, answering emails every day this week. Today's Friday. Where's my rubber pants and stuff? It's with the stuff that you need to hang up. Oh. Yeah. You hate me. You want to match me? I see. Yeah. We're both wearing sweatshirts that say "I wish Robert Pattinson was here." Well, we do. I do wish he was here. Okay. Go ahead. Um, and I am. I usually do this on Saturdays, but today's Friday and I have time, so I'm doing my weekly planner which you've seen before and then also um my like personal planner and our like big one that hangs on the wall and then what i'm also doing is updating 
as I said at the beginning of the video, I think I update like every payment that we get majorly. Yeah. Um, Phoebe has like the official record. I mostly do this because I'm a busybody. <laughs> But it is nice because I feel like I can already like go back a few months and be like, wow, we only made, you know, this many dollars this month. And we've already like made more than that this month. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, Patreon this month. Wild. What did you, what did we make? Oh, I have no idea. Okay. I can grab the laptop. You should grab the laptop. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 87804. Yes, that's what I have. And we just got Twitch money. Um, eight seventy eight. Hang on, oh four. What was Twitch? Twitch was one thousand fourteen eighty eight. <laughs> that's crazy. I know. It's good. Well, we had a subathon. Yeah. So that's part of it, which is great. Um, do you know YouTube? You got paid that earlier, right? No, YouTube gets paid on the twenty first. Oh, okay. Yes. Have we we did make merch money because we paid. We did the, the merch money that we made was um. 221 23 and the reason jj got paid like 12 dollars. yeah the reason for that is because people bought 100 house uterus shirts and then also a lot of it was actually from like um some of pot pie shit and we already paid bo out for that so yeah we're essentially like recouping money that we had lost you know what i mean yeah um nice and then fat fancy paid us for the live show we did in november yes what how much was that it was 150 but with um it was what was one it was 141 technically with like fees and stuff cool. or processing for paypal which is annoying but it's whatever no it's not worth like arguing no. about okay patreon mm -hmm. paid us on like the fourth right e Roughly. yes yeah yeah, yeah. um and patreon twitch I'm pays in, I'm on in, the 13th twitch pays between the 12th and the 17th and it's completely unhinged and it's just whenever it happens youtube pretty consistently pays right around the 21st um, Patreon, I'm in charge of when it comes out now. Like, we can, like, withdraw it at any moment. So if we needed to for an emergency, that's nice that we could get it early. But if I can remember to try to pull it out on the last, like, couple of days of the month, we should have it the first of the month, which would be great. Cool. We pretty famously pay rent late to my dad, which is sort of funny. Um, he doesn't like when we call it rent. He doesn't like it. Because we're technically paying on the mortgage. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like most people in our situation... What people assume our situation is, I guess, is yeah. that we moved in because we can't, we don't have any money. And so we just moved into a house that we already had. Yeah. And what actually happened is we, on purpose, wanted to live with Phoebe's parents. They wanted to live with us. That's true. We, we all bought this house we together. We together yeah. searched for this giant house. Yeah. Um, and then, like, we paid that every month, but it is, like, going directly to the mortgage. It's not, like, he... Yeah. And he could, like, if we had to skip a month, like, he would be fine. But, like, he couldn't have this house without knowing that we were also paying. Monthly. Yeah. Like, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, we bought it together. It's yeah. just that he is the one that had the credit, so he's the one. <laughs> it's also nice because our, you know, the person we pay rent to is my dad. So, like, sometimes we're able to pay rent all 1500 on the first of the month. And then most of the time we pay it 750 on the first and then 750 around, like, the 20th, um, which is great. I feel like it's nice it's to have that. It's agreement. Oh, it's really nice to have that flexibility yeah. and not have to stress out about it. Because if we can, great to do it, but, like, we don't have to. Yeah, when we can, we try to just pay it all on the first so that it's, like, done. Yeah. But it's not always possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to hear who all we're working with who we've not gotten paid by? Yeah, Eva Courses is the only one that I've written down, but I don't know how much they're paying, and I don't know when. Eva's was... paying three twenty five. dollars whenever we end up posting it, which should be... Would on it the... be this month, though, you think? Yes, it would be in the vicinity of the um, January 20th. Cool. Is when they were looking to have us post it. They said that they've had, like, some shit going on, so it's okay if it's late. So I was just going to email them today as, like, a check-in to be like, hey, we're working on it. Here's, like, the vibe so far. Yeah. Um, Yarn You Glad is paying oh, us yeah. $100 for a uh instagram post that one will definitely be this month and that should be like super easy squeezy as soon as we get the stuff we'll take pictures they also sent a bunch of extra stuff that was really sweet oh there's like some like cute little like scrunchies and like a little like wristlet thing and they, they were like, 100 right yes mm -hmm. and then queer ivy is 250 which i think they'll be paying today because they asked me to money request them and then the lesbian museum said that they sent in oh, yeah, their sure. money that it was like being processed now so that it should show up i don't know if it's going to show up like towards the end of the month. That's who I was forgetting. Yes, Lesbian Museum. Oh, it's, o, it's not OHSU. What's the no, number? OSU? It's U of O. What? I'm so I said sorry. the number. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Also, I want to be really clear, any like collab that we do with a small brand, we have like a specific agreement that we have figured out with 
those people. So the amount that they're paying us is perfect. So if you hear us saying a low number, don't think fuck that person because that's not the vibe at all whatsoever. No, yeah, with small businesses, first of all, and this is like not just us, like a lot of content creators yeah. have smaller, like lower fees for smaller businesses. Um, just because like, I mean like, we're all trying to pay our bills, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we want, we want it to be helpful to the both of us. Yes, so, we want it to be accessible and, and helpful to the both of us. And like, um, just about every small business that we like collab with, we're also like, genuinely obsessed with like right we also give them like three different options so there's always like here's this free option here's a lower priced instagram like photo option and then here's like a higher price like tiktok option or like a mid price sometimes like real where we send you the video yeah and or like weird, they like wanted to be in our um be like in our link tree and so yes. we like added a small fee on top of that but like it's not necessarily included but like since you know it's very like yeah, yeah, yeah. catered to that business yeah it depends on what they want it depends on if there's somebody who we've worked with before if we you know if we have essentially grandfathered them in at a lower price than what we are currently charging small businesses for something else like it's all good vibes and we want it to be beneficial to the both of us yeah so it's it's I'm, yeah. I love it. Whereas, like, if, you know, if Nintendo does take a proposal, we ask them for $4,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the other thing, is that, like, part of and it... And that, honestly, it's a deal for them. <laughs> oh, my so God. It makes it easier for us to create content when we're not stressed out about money. Mm -hmm. And it makes it easier for us to do things like, you know... All, all kinds of things, but mostly create content when we have that extra cash flow from those bigger brands. We don't have to stress out about, about, about yeah. it as much. Yeah, um, uh, and then also this is both of our full time jobs now. Yeah, if you do with their job. Yeah. So yeah, since the last time we filmed, I got approved for Oregon Health Plan, which is like um, Oregon's Obamacare essentially. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, from what I understand, won't have to pay. I don't think I'll have any copay for therapy anymore. I love that. I think it could only, it could go back to only $10. $10 yeah. Um, I need to call them. It was $90 previously. Well, so it was $10 when I worked at office job. Yeah. I signed up for the most expensive health care because it was just like me. For one person. For one person. Yeah. So it was free. Um, I, they weren't putting any money, I think, into like a health savings account though. It was just literally, it cost me nothing. It didn't benefit me extra, but the, the it was the it was like the gold plan or whatever, and so my copay for therapy was ten dollars. Yeah. So I went um, every week. Then when I quit in May and had to switch to being like a person on Phoebe's health insurance, they had signed up for the lowest one that put the most amount of money into the health savings account. Yeah. Because that was what they needed. Because we didn't anticipate me being able to quit or... We didn't anticipate Morgan being on my insurance. Yes. We didn't anticipate Morgan being able to quit and also needing to quit. Because truthfully, like, your mental health was so bad. Yeah. It was... You were not having a good time. Cubicle work? If you're doing a cubicle job and you're living your life, more fucking power to The you. cubicle part was... My going to the office was my favorite part. Oh my I God. really, really did like... I was like a trainer. I loved that part of it. If I could just do that all day, I don't know if I ever would have quit. Yeah. Um... But, like, having to... Also, I think if we had gotten... I think if we worked there before the pandemic happened and we had actually gotten to experience this office life that they swear by... That's true. Maybe we, it would have made a difference. But the problem is that once you've experienced a pandemic and you've experienced how important it is to you to be able to, like, work from home and, like, start a load of dishes while you're on lunch... And yeah. Like, like, it makes your house so much better, easier, like... I don't know. Anyway, so then... It was like, again, I liked going into the office because I like putting on a silly outfit and like making a lunch, but I hated being on the phones all day. I like, it's also like, like, you know what you're doing doesn't matter. I think that's the and most I, that's thing. Like, like, like my favorite thing, our favorite thing at Disney World was like, even though obviously in the grand scheme of the world, yeah. it doesn't matter, but like you really can make a difference in like one person's like family vacation or like, you know, like a, several families vacations and like we really like that part of it and, and there are people telling you how important you are and how much they appreciate you and how you're yes. so good at your job and like it's this very like and like you feel a lot of like yeah like pride in the fact that like you are like creating part of the magic right and so and that just does not happen at office job no and really not any office job as far as I know yeah and I, I honestly don't think it's something that would have like grinded down my soul as much if we weren't able to do content creation and the problem is that we like, know any better like now we yeah. know how much we like this job because we get paid much better and also it's like super fucking fulfilling and it's also like the amount of hours that we're putting into doing this is like significantly more effort than i've ever put into any other job yeah i saw someone explain it really well where they were like 
one person who's like, and we tried to, we would never be like this. One person was giving like, influencing is the hardest fucking job and I am God's special chosen angel to be able to do it. Mm. And we would never give that energy. No, 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 no. What I will say is it's like much harder than it looks, obviously, but I saw someone stitching, I saw different creators like talking about that creator and they were like, they're lying. Yeah. Like, yeah, I probably do work technically like... 60 hours a week yeah but like that work can be done like from my bed yeah it's mostly email and like you know i can take lunch whenever i want i can wear whatever i want i make my if i want to sleep all day and work all night i literally could yeah and it's something that was given to us by luck yeah, like that's. I, think, I mean, we do work really hard, but like, right. it's given initially by, though, by reason, luck and privilege and like happenstance. And, right. Like, we have no idea. Like, we can't control the algorithm. You know what I mean? Like, no, 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 no. So, so it is stressful. Yeah, you also have to deal with really mean comments, which like you, are really personal. Oh you know, my have to do with, god! Um, an office job. Um, we had someone. Can I say it? Yeah, sure. We had someone send us an Instagram message, and they specifically said and before anybody gets upset please don't get upset please know that like it's okay this is the meanest thing we've ever gotten so i'm telling you the absolute meanest it's not usually this bad but somebody sent us a message that said that the reason that um we had a miscarriage is because we announced too early and that like if we had just waited then maybe our and i think they said like stupid blueberry and used like the blueberry and like heart emoji emoji, like the soft eyes emoji that like wouldn't be dead and then they also said that like white women like us are the reason that uh it's like so not accessible to get reproductive care in the united states which is unhinged to me because what it sounds like is there's someone who's been like hate watching our content which is whatever I don't really care. People um, do that. It's a thing that people do. But uh, the other thing that's just like completely wild to me is that like I am the first person in line to go hold anybody's hand who needs to go get a procedure done because they have an unwanted pregnancy. Like that's not yeah. something Morgan could do ever in her life, even before the pregnancy. I, well, but, like, I also I, just don't like doctors. Number one, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. like I'm, I don't know. No, I'm but not, I'm, I'm not a girl you would call for really any type of doctor. No work. But we're like pretty aggressively <laughs> pro-choice. Yeah. Like I think that us having Very... a miscarriage even made me that much more yeah and i was like i would never want like this was a wanted pregnancy for us yeah and it fucking sucked but like the pain that i experienced yeah the physical is very similar to what you would experience if you had chosen to end a pregnancy right like that all fucking sucks your body changing after that like you're essentially in postpartum regardless of whether you wanted that baby like that's hard that's hard i would never want and like not to mention like all the things of people who do have wanted pregnancies yeah after they give birth to a healthy baby like you know your body changes so much i would yeah. never make anyone go through that no 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 no. who didn't want to or who didn't like assess those risks no. i don't know yeah so that's the meanest message we've ever gotten and people say not shit quite that bad as often but it's it is a very specific like i don't know people are normally mean about us being fat that's true um they love to do than that. us being like gay or wanting kids yeah I would say they're they're mostly fat phobic. They're definitely transphobic. Oh my in god! In order, and then yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe homophobic, but that's true. Anyway, yeah, it, it is a lot of like you just have a thick skin. It's it's not even like I also just like anybody. But who, again, it's nowhere near. I, everyone who I know who is a content creator that we're like mutuals with, who like posts on their friends only story. I would say I've seen most of them crying and posting a friends only story, being like, "Oh my god, it's really getting to me today." So I don't I don't know that it's great for your mental health. However, I would rather, I would much rather be doing this than sitting in my office job feeling like nothing that I do matters, feeling like, you know what I mean? So I, I, I really think it just depends. I think yeah. it just depends on what I know some people are. Um, are like romanticizing their life by like being like, my office job is just what I do to pay my bills. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think exactly what you have to do sometimes. Yeah. And so like, I've seen people be like, oh, I do this as my job, but like, that's literally the least important part of me. Like they really prioritize like doing absolutely nothing on Saturdays or yeah. you know what I mean like I don't we know, love you, quiet quitting in this house you have to do what you have to do yeah and we love After loud age. quitting <laughs> you know, yeah whatever works best for do, you do what works best for you we're excited for this journey yeah yeah of Phoebe being also here all the time oh my god so nothing excited. if you watch like our streams nothing's really gonna change there's actually just gonna be, maybe be more so I'm still planning on streaming by myself Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday Phoebe's gonna do like Thursday afternoon hangs on Twitch that are like kind of short. And then we'll still do Friday afternoons and then Saturday mornings. Although today we're canceling our Friday stream 
Because it's just kind of been an intense week, and like, yeah. there's Han our friends coming over. Hannah's coming over. Like, when I've cleaned the whole house for the most part, there's, like, clothes, in, and we have to make the bed in the bedroom and vacuum, but that's literally it. Yeah. Um, And, like, when the house is all clean, like, I, I don't know. Like, I just want, like, a day to just, like, enjoy it being clean. Absolutely. And just sit down. And we also work. had a shit ton of, like, medical Morgan's, not, like, stressful. Not stressful. Yeah, we but, had like, my appointment this week. I'm starting a bunch of medications today. Right. So, so we're in a huge place of privilege that so we're able to take a day to relax. <laughs> Literally, half of your face is up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and we love and appreciate y'all being here, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I hope that it is clear that we are so, so, so grateful for this opportunity yeah. that we've been given. And I also want to say, I, I feel like we say it pretty often, but I just, I don't, I think we could always say it more. If you are ever feeling like, oh, Couple of Goofs needs me to be a $5 tier patron or they need me to buy this merch or they need, that is not the case. No. We love you so much. We, we, we love those things and they are part of our income. And they are important But like to us. quite literally, it is better to have, you know, people like the free stuff is the most important part. So like people watching us on Twitch for free. That's true. People watching our TikToks, like anything yeah. that... Like, all those free things are the most important things compared to any monetary thing that, like, an average person can give. Yes. Because our numbers being higher makes companies who have money want to right. pay us more money. So, know that if... And also... So, there, never feel like, oh, I feel bad that I no. cancel my Patreon. Don't ever feel bad for that. We I appreciate don't pay you. for Twitch right now or... No. It doesn't, doesn't matter to us. We want you absolutely, first and foremost, to take care of yourself. And, like, truthfully, like, that, yeah, like, that's what it is. It's yeah. like, no, you you don't have as much money as Universal Standard. You're <laughs> never going to be able to give us $3,000. You don't have as $3, much money as <laughs> Right. So, like, don't, don't, don't be... Don't feel like you have to. Mm, oh, my do God. Anything. Don't at all. And then know that, like... Buy yourself a little treat. And also know that because there are people who are watching us, like, if you are someone who has unsubscribed from our Patreon, we have had three more people subscribe to our Patreon in the past day or six hours or whatever yeah. so like it is take being care of yourself take first, please, please take care of yourself first <laughs> it's being picked up by other folks who are able to support us which is so kind and we so appreciate it and it's really it's it's important to us but yeah so, we i mean we appreciate everyone who does oh my god don't absolutely. ever feel like you have no. to do anything don't feel like we're talking to you, you or dear. about you don't you dear don't be too nice things that have a specific schedule yes Paired, the app. Yes. I don't know what it is, though. No, but it's for Valentine's Day, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'll put it around in quotes. Okay. Universal Standard. Yes, that one. We want to post between... The 14th and the 17th. February 14th. Um, the 20th. Did you fart, Mom? Nope. Okay, please don't <laughs> bully my mom on camera. Yes. <laughs> um... Nice. Generally scheduled. Uh, Yarn, aren't you glad? Just CBD. Yarn, aren't you glad is going live today, so. Okay. Just CBD is also for Valentine's Day? Yes. But it's on Instagram only. Yes. Just CBD is Instagram only. Paired is Instagram and TikTok. Universal Standard is just TikTok. I don't think there's anybody else. There's a couple people who are like, oh, Glitter, glitter and Gloom? Yes. Don't have a date for them. That would be on Instagram and TikTok. And their stickers? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think they have other things that they sell in their Etsy shop. Oh, we have the lesbian thing. Oh my god, yeah. That definitely has a date. <laughs> we're, we're posting a TikTok about, like, an after the fact. Yes, one, they right? didn't have a specific... So when I sent them over, like, the invoice, I said, like, posting date TBD by um, U of O. But our... It's really just that and the collab with them. Like the meet and like greet the, Sorry, yeah, the meet and greet. So I don't think, like we have the meeting we're greeting. Yeah. And I've posted about that a couple of times saying like, hey, we're going to be in Eugene. Um, I need to catch up on Patreon stuff. Yes. Um, nice. I think that's it. Okay. Right? I don't think there's anything else. The problem is we're like waiting on dates for a couple of things. Yeah. So like that's. Bear's paying us. 3000 Yes. It's in February. Yes. Here's the other thing that I don't know if we've said in this video is that let's say that Universal Standard yeah. is paying us $3,000, which they are. Typically, most like companies, not small businesses, but most companies pay you like net 30 or net 60. Yeah. Meaning like your post goes live on January 1st. And if it's like net 30, they won't pay you till like February 1st. It's typically net 30. It's not often net 60. We, with, 
with Alexa with Amazon. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't at 60. That one was 90. Oh shit, you're right. It was so long. And it was not. Yeah. And at the time it was like three times more we had ever been paid. Right. It was only $1,200, but it was like way more than we had ever been paid. <laughs> we did send an NDA for that one. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> No, I thought NDA was only like beforehand. Uh, no, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's in perpetuity. Oh, okay. It was with the Google Home, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so true, Bestie. Everyone yeah. remembers our famous Google Home advertisement that we did. <laughs> yeah, what we did a year and a half ago. Anyway, go ahead. Don't even worry about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so like, while it's exciting that we have two big ads lined up in February, we yes. won't see that money till probably halfway through March. Right. Um... Because it's like, they'll send it to us and then it still takes a few days to, they'll send it to us 30 days after it yeah. goes live. And then it still takes a few days to actually show up in our bank account. Which is why, honestly, we could not be doing this if we were living at an apartment complex. Like, I wouldn't have been able to quit my job because we are consistently paying my parents' rent very sporadically. And it does get paid. That egg just yelled at you. Nice. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for right now. I think that's it for right now. We just need to have another meeting when everybody sends us our, their Thanks. like collaboration terms because the only ones who have are Universal Standard, and that's why we have the date for that. So we um, also Phoebe's not streaming on Thursdays, yes. so we're having lunch right now, and then Phoebe has to go stream. Yes. Um, I'm gonna do like uh, punch needle stuff for your art. Yeah, exhibit. my art show in May, which is exciting. Yeah. I'm just a toy in my best one now. It's filming already. Yeah, perfect. Oh no. He's tricked me. Okay. This Good is morning. two of three packages that we're getting today. Yes. Um, Two of them are for ads. One is Lucy and Yak, which we bought, but we'll be using it for content to do like a fit check soon. Hoping that Lucy and Yak would want to like partner with us. I think we need to do like honest review of Lucy and Yak because this will be the first time we've like purchased from them. That is true. So like that's kind of fun. Um, but I, are... I don't think that they hire a lot of like American influencers. I know that no. they've sent stuff to make It's Mary Fran. She's the only person I follow who they like have shared her stuff and I think they've given her some things. Oh, okay. But I like, I mean, if they want to- If they want to gift us things- I was going to say, if they want to give us things with no obligation. Yeah, I, I love that. <laughs> well, I think the thing that's kind of funny about like clothing brands is that like we wear- People ask where we're getting our stuff all, this all is, the time. This is just a big lavender shirt. And yeah. if I were to wear it on stream today, people would be like, where did you get that? And yeah. I literally got it for $3 at Goodwill. Yeah. Because I have been like depriving, I think I'm going to take a picture in it today and basically write this in an yeah, Instagram caption. I think you should. But I've been like depriving myself of like big shirt, small pants. Because like in order to have big shirt, I have to buy like a five or a six X. And first of all, I don't want to take those clothes from like people who need them. No, but no, this no. was one of like 10 five X shirts at Goodwill, so I bought one of them. Yeah. Um, but anyway, and it's so nice. Like sometimes you want big shirt, little pants. Yeah, it, and in a not thrifted situation where you're purchasing something, there's no reason to not get big shirt, little pants. Oh, when I'm buying it new from like a. That's big what company. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, is that like they have five X? Buy the five X that you can have. The other thing that you're wearing today is your Universal Standard. Yeah, I shorts. literally wear these all the time. Yeah, and people are like, "Where are you getting nice bike?" To the point where like. Every time they have a sale, I'm like, should I buy more bike shorts? Because I wear these <laughs> literally all the time under stuff, under dresses. Like, I wear them all the time. Anyway, so, like, I don't know how other influencers, we can only speak for ourselves. Yeah. But, like, um, I love partnering with clothing brands, but especially if they are one that, like, pays us well, their yeah. clothes are made well, and they've yeah, been, like, yeah. really communicative. Yes. Um. Yeah, like, we really love Universal Standard. Uh, not all of their stuff is always our style, which makes it even better now that we have the plus size clothing swap because just because it's not something that I would necessarily wear all the time doesn't mean that somebody else isn't going to absolutely fucking love it or that people who watch our content aren't going to be like, oh my God, I want to get that. Yeah, I like very much want everything to be really like feminine, like with a capital F. Yeah. Um, and Universal Standard has a lot of basics. Yeah. Um, which is fine, but like they're a lot like all their dresses are pretty like loose and comfortable. And while I like those every now and then, I like am normally not gonna reach for them unless I'm just going somewhere that I want to be comfortable. Anyway, so it's like even better now that we have the plus size clothing You're right. The plus size clothing swap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um because like nothing will go like and not that anything was going to waste before. We were no, just like, No, it would just sit in our closet friends. and like not really yeah. get worn that much. But anyway. Yeah. Nice. Okay, should we start with what is let's it? do Lucine Yak because we bought we purchased this stuff. Oh my god. On purpose. I'm so excited. Also, there's a shirt of moms in here. What is this? 
Does it come in a thing? What? That's what so cute. That's so pretty. It came in its own little, like, freaking little tiny bag. Oh my god, what a cute tiny bag. <gasps> These are my overalls. Oh my god, those are so cute. These are your pink. Ah! This I'm is so mom's scared. Shirt. <gasps> and then you got a belt, Beautiful. right? I did, yes. Nice. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited about these pants. Nice. They're so cute. I'm really excited about my overalls. This is the first time I bought. This is a 26. This is the first time we bought from them at all. Ever, yeah. Um, but I have one pair of 24s that I got at the clothing swab. Oh my god. I really hope these fit. Ah. I have to try them on. You gonna try them on? Oh, what? I got a pair of dungarees. They do smell. Like they came from a factory, <laughs> which makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably wear these this, week this weekend at the swap, not the swap, the meet and greet. I'm so afraid. I should have just sized up for these. I, I mean, have a feeling I'm going to have to send them back. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh my God. No. <gasps> oh, be Are they cute? Hey, Are they zip, cute? Zip them. I'll zoop them. <gasps> I think they're really cute. Oh my god. Well, they can't see you, but ah! I think they're cute. Oh, I love them. <gasps> oh my god. How could you stretch them out more if you needed to? Because of the elastic? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. No, they're comfy. Like, this is not... Oh my god, I'm so excited. No, I mean, like, if you continue to grow. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you're a young, strapping young man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these are so fucking cute. Mine are... Maybe I'll take a picture of these. I'll have editing Phoebe put pictures of us in them afterwards. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell editing Phoebe that. Yeah. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're really cute. <gasps> this is the shirt mom got. I won't open it. No. But it's just a stripy yellow one. Very cute. It's really cute. Stripy yellow. What? Stripy rainbow. <laughs> and then Phoebe also got a gay belt. Phoebe's having two belts this week because they're growing out of their uh, belt. And this, this is, is nice. Seen, this is the space I have. Oh, nice. This is the space I have without stretching the elastic. Good. So, so you'll have room once we get pregnant. Once we get pregnant, yes. There will be a perfect amount of room. These are so cute. Oh, my God. I don't understand how Lucy and Yak pants have, like, the softest. Yeah. It's, it's like pre wash It's autism-friendly. Do they smell funky? No. I feel like my dungarees, which I don't mind. They don't smell so funky that I'm worried about it. Right. It's just like, you know, sometimes when you order something new, yeah. it's like evident that it's like coming from like a factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the mystery box from Universal Standard. Um, we, the very first time we did one of these, oh my God. we did an honest, not honest, but like an actual, we actually filmed us opening them for the first time. And I yeah. feel like you can tell that we're not as excited about some of them. Yes. So now we pre-open them and just pretend that we're opening them for the first time. Yes. <laughs> just so we can know. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah. Oh, see, so they're not in boxes this time. Oh, interesting. Well, I think, I mean, it's for the both of us. Yeah. So. Oh, it must be. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So my stuff is, let's see, this is a medium, so that must be yours. Yeah. This is also a medium. Oh my god, it's heavy. Oh. What is this? This is a large. This is a large. This what is, is this large. one? Wait, I think they gave me a little set. Yeah. Okay, hold on. What I really wanted, so that mystery, the way the mystery boxes work, they are really cool, actually, if you've never gotten anything from Universal Standard. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a two-piece. Oh, <gasps> cute. Oh, it is cute. It's really cute. It's really cute. I'll not be wearing it, but it's very cute. That's adorable. Um, okay, this is like a really fancy, really fancy hoodie. So what the fuck is this? Ooh. Yeah, this has a really nice quality. Is this a robe? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You don't have a robe. Oh, I'll wear this a lot. Ooh. You could also dye it if you wanted it to not be. No, I don't care. <gasps> Cute. Cute. Oh my god, it's really cold. That makes sense for that. The thing about Universal Standard also is that they don't do like menswear, they do like woman clothing. So anytime I no, get stuff from them. It all unisex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's. Okay, this is a little... Oh, um, wait. Are these bike shorts? Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's perfect for you, baby. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Oh, my God. And I actually really like the Heather Gray. Oh, no. Oh, leggings. Oh, they're bike pants. They're leggings. Ooh. Bike pants, some people have called them. Bike pants. How do you feel? Nice. No, I'm excited. I, listen, listen. I'm excited about the pieces. That's a really cute. Is this a shirt? Oh. Oh. oh it is a jumpsuit. jumpsuit. Oh, that's not the jumpsuit, I don't think. No, that's a, that's a loosey-goosey one. 
Oh, it is cute. Would you wear it with a sweater? I think I would. Wait, hold on. It's got like, I actually want to try this on. Yes. I'm, I'm a little skewed. Anyway, the mystery boxes are like, it's like one outfit usually, unless you do the dresses box, in which case it's usually like three dresses, but it's three pieces that they'll send you, um, essentially for like way cheaper than they normally would. So I think one mystery box is like $50. I think, I think it's like $50. $200, depending on the one that you get. Um, we both chose, I chose the athleisure one. What did you choose? Uh, no, I chose, you chose uh, athletic. Athletic and I chose lounge. Oh, nice. Well, these are loungy. Yeah. Oh my God, this is actually kind of really fun. Oh shit, am I not in a medium with them? No, I am, I am. Oh, maybe I'm not. No, you might still be a small. I mean, you, how do you feel? This is comfortable. It looks really comfortable. I think it's fine. It looks too big. It, yeah, probably is. This, I think if we tighten it, we'll be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's drop crotch, which is so funny. That's so funny. It's drop crotch. I think it's supposed to fit tight other than that is the thing. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I don't hate it at all, though. No, I might wear it. Yeah? Maybe. I mean, I can try it on. It's so funny. Look how much space it has. I know. Yeah, you should try it on for sure. Where's my <laughs> other things? Your row? Oh, your two piece? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the two piece might be too, too booby. Oh, it's a too, definitely too booby for me. Ooh. Universal standard is so funny. I feel like their sizing is. Really it's because their sizing is like um like small, medium, large instead of numbers, which is fine. But the 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 thing that you run into is like their small is like between like size, I don't know, six and like 10. Like it's like a very wide size range because everything has a lot of stretch, which is nice, except that some things are intended to clearly be tight or tighter. I know that their returns folks are like really easy to talk to though. I don't know how they think I can wear this in a TikTok video. <laughs> it is really comfy though. It looks really cute. I'm sorry that it's so girly, but it does look really comfortable. No, it's, I mean, it's actually really super, super comfortable. I think that's fine. You're so cute. The little back is like open. You look like a muse from, from Hercules. Put a little gold leaf on you. I'm a girly. Hey, look at that woman. You know me, a woman. Where's my husband? <laughs> anyway, later today we're getting um, relabel re stuff, which we also picked that out. So it's not a surprise. Um, but I'm very excited. I wear their stuff a lot. I'm also, I also wear the universal standard stuff that we've gotten a lot. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. That's why it's smart for brands to like stay like clothing brands, particularly to stay on the good side of an influencer. Cause if they like your stuff, they'll wear it more than once. And then it's like, it really is like more advertising than just the ad you paid for. I think that's the thing is that most of these places, they're not paying us to get people to buy things from them right away. They're paying for like brand recognition. Yeah. I think it's really mostly what it is. And I don't, I don't like, hopefully the people who are working in like marketing and things like that, like understand that. And it seems like with a lot of more established brands, they do that. It is much more about like in the future when we wear something and someone's like, Oh my God, where did you get a two piece? set that's like so comfortable and i'd be like oh my god it's actually from universal standard and that yeah. could be two months from now and, and we tag them like, all the time yeah and i usually say like it was gifted to us by like whoever unless it's something that you got forever ago like you the, literally these are like one of the first things we got from them yeah like you've had that for like years yeah um but yeah yeah i do think it's fun i think that i think that's the thing is that some brands get that and other ones don't we also get people messaging us all the time like oh my god where did you get blank and like you know or they're like oh i'm looking at universal standard is the thing that you got this and it's like yeah that is the thing that i got here's what i like about it universal standard i mean they've got great stuff yeah Their it's really well so made funny. um yeah. yeah always look at the size chart is theirs i think theirs is different for each item though yes which is why which i think is the mystery important. boxes are a little bit hard yes and the, my, my problem with what I have just done is that I sized up the tiniest bit because I don't like when things are like really super tight on me. And this is a box that's meant to be fitted. And so that's, that was my mistake. But 
All the things are cute, and Morgan yeah. and I might just end up wearing some of them, or we'll take them to the clothing store. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, someone's gonna be really excited. I want to see you try on that. The jumpsuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. might be too tight, but it's cute though. Um, but yeah, and then I guess we'll also probably film on that with your free label stuff. Oh my god, I'm really, really excited about the free label stuff. Okay, hello, influencing video. I just spent about 30 minutes sending an email to a brand that wants to do a collab with us. They're like a small brand, they're an Etsy shop, and they do candles, and I'm so excited. We fucking love candles. Um, so it should be really cool. Their Etsy shop only has like 330 sales, but everything about their like emailing and things that we're doing is like very professional. They clearly, it's like three people who are running it. Um, it's like a family owned business, which is really cute. They're based in Ohio. It's angry hair candles. Um, so, so excited to work with them. We're going to make like a couple of goofs candle. Um, I'm really excited. It's gonna be really fun. A dollar from the proceeds are gonna to go to the Quilly Tribes uh, Move to Higher Ground Fund, which is uh, very exciting. If you don't know what that is, the Quilly Tribe is the one that is uh, famously repeatedly mentioned in Twilight. It's what uh, it's like where Jacob is is from, where he lives, and they just didn't get any fucking money from the Twilight movies, which is completely absurd. I also just don't know why Stephanie Meyer wouldn't just like make up a tribe if you were gonna create like fake stories about werewolves. Like I can't imagine how frustrating that would be. It's a long story. Anyway, super, super excited for that. Uh, we're also getting 25% of the proceeds, uh, sorry, of the profits. So $1 going to Clea Tribe, 75% of the profits are going to this candle company, and then 25% of the profits are going to us. So this is kind of like a commissions-based thing. I offered to do uh, this collab with them essentially for free because like we really love candles, <laughs> so that's super fun. Um, but I, yeah, they said that they wanted to pay us, um, like essentially like a commission thing, which that is cool with me. That works. Um, we also gave them our rates if they, cause they essentially were like, no, we do want to like hire you, hire you in the future, not on like a collaboration basis, just like to have you guys do candles. Um, they have really cute stuff and I'm really excited. So I was just emailing them for a long time. <laughs> Okay, hello. All right, this is our free label stuff. I'm so excited. Which we're very excited about. Yay! Okay, this is mine. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, and then I already forgot. I think this is mine. Yes. It doesn't say the colors on the out. I mean, the shades are on the outside. This yeah. is mine because it's black. And that is. What is that? I think this is mine. Three X, yeah. Oh, for your top, for your top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So this is their fancy bra thingy. Oh my God, I'm really excited. You can wear it frontwards oh, go ahead, sorry. or backwards. So this is the way that folks wear it if you have boobies you want to look fancy. And it also works as a nursing bra, not for beeper, just a fun back. This I think is gonna be like a really cute like compression top that I think is gonna be oh, great for that. Free label is so sweet. These are the things that we're doing for the ad. Yeah, so mine's a shirt that you can also wear forwards or backwards, I think. Yes. I would probably wear it with the, I don't know. I don't know. So this is the one side. Yeah. This is the other. It's like a crisscrossy thing. Isn't it cute? So you could show your whole breast if you want to. Yeah. But I think I think people tie it in the video. I think they are tying the other side though. I think that they're leaving this fun. I think oh, it's just maybe? easier to tie in the front because it's already cut in two in the back. So it makes it shorter. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. I have I some know. people wear it both ways though. It's like a crop. That is, that is one. And then these are my pants. Which are the I'm avocado really color. excited about that. Also, no, yours are oh, no. green. They're just a different green. They're like foresty green. Yeah. Wash, cold, hang, dry, love forever. <laughs> That's really cute. Yeah, I'm excited about these funky pants. This is my top, which I think is just like a standard t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cute. I like the sleeves on it, actually. Made with care in Canada. That's so cute. It's really cute. Yeah, these are just like, I don't know, they're like fun... They're like wide leg pants. Ooh. Literally our little thing this weekend, we're gonna wear like freaking all new clothes. Yeah. Yeah, these are the same. Oh, these are the same ones, but in a different color. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my jumpsuit. Oh my God. Which I'm so fucking <laughs> it, you This one, I think you could also wear front or backwards, same thing. It's gonna be cute now, but it's gonna be really cute when I'm pregnant. Yeah. And it has freaking pockets. Oh. I love a jumpsuit. People on stream are like, how do you wear a jumpsuit? Because you have to take it all the way off to pee in public. And I was like, number one, I don't pee that much in public. Right. Like, not not for mean, like, or not mean, but like stressful reasons. Like, I just don't, I try to pee before I leave and then pee when I get back. This is all I've ever wanted. So I only pee in public when I'm gone for a long, long time. This is amazing. Jump up and down. Hey. 
You think it's? Do you think it's trampoline approved? I don't. I, listen, I don't think anything is trampoline. I don't approved. either. I should do a video that's like, hey, if you're chunky, do you have bras that you can jump on trampoline? I in? sized down on this on purpose so that it would be like more like compressive. Yeah. I think it's perfect. It looks really cute. I and think this color looks so good with your skin, thank though. Thank you. I thought it might. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. All right. Flat. Well, you didn't get to see people jump up and down, but well, you won't. You won't be able to. You're Sorry. not. A, you're not allowed that to. That was a show for me. <laughs> We're having a meeting, a breakfast meeting. Today is Birthday. Thursday, January 25th. Is that right? I don't know. That's not right. 26th. Yeah, 26th. Oh, my bad. Um, We are going out of town this weekend to do an influencer thing, a meet and greet with the university for the lesbian museum. It's pretty exciting. Um. We have stuff to do before we leave. Yeah. So today, we have to come up with, we have to, before tomorrow, come up with 10 ideas for It Gets Better, because we signed up for their creator program again. It's $675 that they pay you for like five videos. They pay quick. That is obviously like super, super low in comparison to other things we get paid for. It is also a charity. Um, and it's also cool because like, like I always thought it gets better project was really cool when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Like that's where the phrase it gets better comes from. It's literally them. It was like some, mm -hmm. some, yeah, very sweet gay man. Like them. anyway, it's like, you know, it's cool. Their stuff's cool. They're really nice. They're easy to get a hold of. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things that, like, sometimes we do things because they pay well, and then sometimes we do things because we have a relationship with someone and they pay fine, and we still need to get rent regardless, which um, is which is fine, which is fine, and it's all stuff that's posted only on their content. Mm -hmm. It's not posted on so ours. So we don't have to comment. Which is the anymore. main reason why it doesn't matter to me personally. Um, okay, so we need to make we need to come up with ten ideas for that. Yeah, and just email them. For them. Yeah. We need to do, I almost said monologue, podcast. Yes. We're recording a podcast episode this morning. Yes. Merch photos. We need to do our, hey, we need to do an FRC just CBD. Yeah. Um, They've got a lot of weird rules about what you can and can't do. I don't know. Well, no, I mean, it's because it's CBD. Oh, that makes sense. So you can't be like consuming it, which is interesting to me. So we can't be like eating any of the candies. We have, we were supposed to go shopping today. Well, probably yesterday because Kyle was supposed to come today. Right. Kyle's not coming because they had a house fire and oh my God. husband is in surgery. So stressful. Like, very Poor stressful. Kyle. They are coming eventually. The good news is like, now that they have to push it out at least two months, um, Nat and Lydia will be here. Also, by the next time that they come. So, and Tiny Forest will be open. <gasps> You're right. That's, that's what I should have opened with. Yeah. Um, that's the best part. Yeah. So we were already going to be like hosting and, and busy this whole time. So I'm not as, the only thing I'm stressed out about is that I've had the worst period since our miscarriage this week. So I've gotten nothing done this week except yeah. lay on the couch and hurt. Tina is like that though. So it's fine. I mean, we have been better about keeping our house like, like cleaning a little bit every night. So there's not much to do. I just like to clean before we leave. So honestly, all I really have to do before we leave tomorrow is like vacuum. I've got stuff to take to Goodwill that I could do today while you're streaming. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. So that is really nice. Um, well, I'm gonna put clean before we leave. Also working on, it's not this video energy quite, but it's like a TikTok that's like, this is how many brands I reached out to. These are how many reached out to us. And like, it's like a breakdown of like what that looks like. Of the year or? Just from January. Mm. Cause I couldn't do the year, that would be, Unhinge, but like so it's like 22 people that i've reached out to like seven of them were like just like cold emails where i found like their whatever we have like heard back from like two from that so it's yeah like a, it's like it's like a powerpoint being like this is what it looks like on our end because people are always like how do you get into this and it's like there's not a, really a way to get into it unless it just kind of i follow two you. people who have less than 10,000 followers who are like i'm gonna trick everyone into me being an influencer and like that yeah. is that is how it works yeah. so they like 
one person like wrote a really like thoughtful long email about how they really liked it was like something very silly like slippers or like a microfiber towel it was, like something for their house and they emailed the company and the company like sent them a free one in exchange for a video and then like that is how you get started essentially yeah. Yeah, um yeah. If you were to try, it's very hard. The other thing about these two people that I both follow, they're both thin. One's blonde, is one, one is brunette women who are hot, <laughs> like conventionally yeah. attractive. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's going to be very easy for them to gain followers versus, like, you know, we are not, we are attractive to the gay people, but, like, <laughs> we're not, like, conventionally attractive to, like... We can tell that we're not conventionally attractive because when our ads get shared on Facebook, this, the cis hat men are so yeah. fucking brutal. So mean. And, like, I don't care about their opinion, but, like, oh, my God. No, we so literally, brutal. like, don't get the emails anymore of, like, anyone commenting on anything on our couple of goofs, like, Facebook page. I've stopped fucking Because we don't actually use it. It's, it's just stressful. that some companies make you, like... It's like the meta thing. Yeah. It's like Instagram it's and Facebook, Facebook are the same company. Instagram, yeah. It's stupid. But, uh... It doesn't make any sense and it doesn't matter. Would you share your little one? I did because I love you. That's so sweet. It's a little present. A little present. Um, I made our bed and everything this morning, which makes me feel a million times better. I mean, I should just do it every morning. The problem is that we don't wake up at the same time all the time. And it's like... And it's not really when you make your bed every day. There's very little little to fix. But it's the tucky inness. No, Phoebe doesn't like the tucky inness. That's the part I don't mind that part. What I hate is having to walk all the way around the bed, then walk all the way back to like straighten it out before I before the tucky inny. This is my new dentist appointment that I have to put in my planner, and they just gave it to me on a little card. And I still haven't put it in my planner, so I just keep holding on the little card. Oh, we need to um, do soft giving. I I mean, I responded to them. Okay. But I need to put it on our calendar. What? Did you tell them to email us? Yes. Thank you. I don't know if they will. I'm so sick of these, like, Gen Z companies being like, we What's only really talk funny on is, Discord. Like, this company, we know that the person we I don't to talk on Discord is actually older than us, but they're Gen Z and vibes, and they're a great company. No, they're lovely. There's, the stuff they make is amazing. They've made it so easy to do charity streams. Yeah. However, they only want to talk on Discord, and I... I won't. I check Discord once a week. It's because they consider it, like, texting. Yes. They think of it as, like, no. It's an app. It's, it's a, not texting. It's not something that I'm on literally ever. And they think because we're streamers that we're like on Discord on our Discord. No, that's a community space. Like that is. Yeah, I get on there once a week to make sure that like there's no like stressful things happening. I click like the like we have like a mental health tab and like anything else where I think like people could be stressful. We have a moderator who we, we have several moderators, but we have yes, one. Sorry, who's, like, we have one who we pay. Yeah, really in charge of the Discord. Um, but anyway, and that's the only, so I check it literally like once a week and it's not even like, oh, on Mondays I check Discord. It's just like randomly I'll be like, oh, I haven't checked Discord probably in a week. Yes. Oh, I need to do Patreon stuff before we leave. Yeah. That's important. <clears throat> I did post on our Patreon yesterday like, hey, sorry, I was supposed to do everything on Sunday, but, um, I'm actually in the middle of buying. And so everyone was like, no big deal. And I was like, thanks. Just didn't want anyone to think I forgot. Yeah. Just did. Not, just being Not rude. Just did. Um, I also posted a video on like the 20th or something. Yeah. yeah. So it's not, it's not that they haven't gotten content. Like. I guess we should probably film a fertility update for them, but I don't think we really need one for the fertility video. I think we do need one for the fertility video because we've had a really fucking brutal period. And That's talk true. about like the effects of like letrozole. That's true. Maybe we'll do that today too. I think that would be great. That one can be done at night also. Yeah. I mean, that one will only be like 20 minutes. Yeah. So I might only stream for night. like... Two hours. I think that's fine. I just feel bad because I canceled yesterday and then we're obviously not streaming tomorrow night or Saturday morning. Yeah. I guess maybe we could stream on Sunday. But we're work like we're working all weekend. Yeah. So I don't think we'll want to. Mm -mm. I just feel bad when we like don't stream for more than and I shouldn't. But no. I feel bad and when we don't stream for like two days. Nobody cares, you know. That's true. Like they like to have that content to watch, but like no, we, I mean, we have other things right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to film our collab for just CBD and there are rules that you can't be eating the CBD, you can't be ingesting it, and they also don't want us to be like Naked shirtless. And, bikinis. and so the products that they've given us are food, it's the gummies, not food, but like nighttime, we'll take them at night. Yeah. You have, to con you have to consume that, but they don't want us to consume it in the ad. 
bath bomb. Yeah. And we're not allowed to be in bikinis or shirtless. Yeah. I think we could probably get away with us like completely covered in bubbles in the bath. I don't. We could put on robes and be holding it like. Oh, that's true. You have a robe now. That's what we'll do. And then massage oil. But we can't be mostly unclothed. Right. So Morgan's just going to massage my arm. Yeah, very normal. I got her a present so she could massage my <laughs> normal arm. Yeah, we're pretending that Phoebe got it for me. Although they would never buy me. Oh my god, no. Also, I don't think anybody's going to think that's what the ad is. Like, I don't think... like No, no one will think it's real. It does smell really good. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so sometimes brands give you something with absolutely interesting rules yeah this is one of the times when the rules are absurd and it's because it's cbd which again is fine but like yeah we agreed to it because we're fine with it but like yeah what did they expect us to do what did you want me to do if not consume or <laughs> use the product bro <laughs> this is such a normal behavior of us. <laughs> i should have taken the tape off first sorry oh it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh it's going to be made out of liquid, though. Oh, fuck. Very liquidy. Yeah, you be careful. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. It has warming effect. Ooh. Ooh let put me it on my hand. I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just so so <laughs> so I can't open it. I cannot. <laughs> There's no fucking it's way. So And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at a hotel that we haven't paid for. Yeah. Awesome. Did we film a before part for this? Wait, like, is this the first time we're mentioning this? I believe so, yeah. Okay, so we are doing like a meet and greet at the um, Outliers and Outlaws exhibit for U of O tomorrow. Yes. It's like a lesbian yeah. history. Yeah, I guess like Eugene was called the lesbian mecca. Like in the '60s, I think. I don't know anything. I'm very. We're excited gonna, yeah, to we're learn. gonna learn at the yeah thing tomorrow. We should find be, out what time it opens. It's gonna be us and another TikToker um, at I am Dave Felton, who goes by Auntie Davy. I think uses she and they pronouns. Mm -hmm. I think they first, but I don't know if there's like a preference there. But anyway, they're super cute. They're cute. I follow them before this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um, they're based out of. I didn't Bend. even know. I was gonna say I didn't even know they were in Oregon. Yes. Um, but so that'll be exciting. Yeah. I'm, we don't know what it's going to look like at all. I think no. it'll be fun regardless. It's, it's also only an hour. It's only an hour that we're doing the meet and greet. And then I think what we're going to do is go early so that we can get footage of the actual exhibit. Um, this is late. They literally basically reached out to us and I was like, oh, this is what it would look like if we were to do a, like a travel mini clip vlog. And we sent them the Dinolandia. Uh, yeah, I sent them the Dinolandia one that we did. And they literally were like, when I was pitching this idea to our marketing, like head or like whoever, like this is the TikTok that I showed them. So like, that's perfect. Like this is exactly what we had in mind. Um, so like when in negotiations with them, uh, they were basically like, we would get you guys a hotel room that's not coming out of your um, pay at all whatsoever. And we, they, they literally said like for full transparency sake, like we will be paying you a thousand dollars. We're also paying at I am Dave Felton a thousand dollars. I know y'all have less of a following than uh, she does, but also I know that you guys are two people. So like, if you don't feel like that's fair, like I can yeah. go back and fight harder. And I, I appreciate, I just really to drive an hour to get here. And I just appreciate transparency more than like anything else. Also, like this is gonna be a really easy TikTok to make. Also, and in, I'm really excited in about this it. specific instance, it's really like it's super case by case. It's like everything we do is so case by case. Yeah. So like in this specific insta instance, we got to go to a Texas Roadhouse tonight, which yeah. is my favorite place to eat. And then yeah, yeah. um we didn't find any good thrift stores, but we did no. have fun <laughs> trying to find thrift stores. And then it's um, gonna be vlog content for YouTube, so like right. that's fun. And like this is a really nice hotel. Oh my god, it's really And we have way two nice queen beds, beds, so we get to sleep separately. <laughs> Which is our favorite thing to do. Yeah. Our favorite say, thing to do is a treat. Yes. Um and like it's I don't know, yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. fun. I am like really sad that Kyle's not here. Yeah. But it's our friend Kyle's supposed to visit and they had some really stressful stuff going on at home that's like not really any of our business to talk about on the internet, but No, but like Oh my god, they had like a family emergency home. basically. But we're so upset about that, but it is still fun with the two of us. Yes. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I was gonna say we, but yeah, they're paying us a thousand dollars. Yeah, which like here's the deal: a thousand dollars is not a small amount of money. No, <laughs> um, it, that's super helpful. They also us. paid it before we came. That's true. Versus like usually when we do an ad, they pay like I think we said this maybe in this video already, but it's like yeah. net thirty or net sixty, meaning like thirty days, sometimes sixty days from when you send the invoice into them. From oh, I thought it was after the we went live. Oh, with the post? Yeah. Typically, but they don't usually ask for the invoice. It depends. It depends. Sometimes it's uh, as of invoice, sometimes it's as of the post, but yeah. it's, just, it's like a whole thing. Um, so that is really nice. They've already yeah. paid us and like... And they've just been like super communicative. Yeah. And like also it's a good, like I do want people to go to this exhibit. Yeah. Yeah. And also the money that, like the rates that I sent to them before I, they had said, they essentially said like, we don't have a huge budget. Which I was like, cool. I was like, we for our small businesses, like we typically do between like three hundred to like eight hundred for a TikTok post, which includes a bunch of other things. Um, and then the number that they gave us back was higher than that. It was a thousand dollars. Yeah. So I and respect we like, and appreciate that. You know? they, yeah. They yeah. They've been super easy to get a hold of. It's yeah. been really nice. Um. But yeah. So this is cool. Hopefully, would love if this leads to like more. Things oh my like god! This. I think that's the other thing is that with things that are like travel or like anything we love kind of to like go that. places. Oh my god! Been. I yeah. mean, we've been to Eugene before. We've never stayed at the night in Eugene, right? Um, no, but we love to like have experiences and then talk about it, and then like if there are folks who want to go see that thing, like that's so fun. Yeah, you know, like that's cool that they. So hopefully, this will open up a. A door, but we'll see. Yeah. We have a, um, uh, we're in like negotiations with Legoland right now for something that would be, I know, would, like, I really hope we get it. I don't necessarily think that we're going to. I don't be. either. I think, I would say right now, I, I, I'm on like a two out of 10 of like hoping for it. Yeah. That's Because I don't want to be like super excited, but it would be so cool. Yeah. Because it would be five days of travel because it's, it would be at least, maybe longer. It would be at least two days of driving there because it's like 15 hours away and yeah. we learned our, <laughs> we learned our mistake <laughs> when we went on our cruise we drove yeah one, it was 15 hours it took us 20 hours yeah because we stopped a lot yeah um of driving so we left at 4 a.m and we got there at midnight that's terrible um i mean we had a lovely time but it was terrible uh lovely it was so much after driving. the fact we had a lovely oh, time. oh my god we yeah, always yeah, have yeah. a great time together i just wouldn't want to drive 20 hours straight no, ever god, again no, especially because no. our car doesn't have cruise control Anyway, yes. so it, for like a land, if we did get it, it would be two days of traveling there, then a day at Legoland with a night at a Legoland hotel, and then two days of driving back yes. at least. Yeah, which is a lot. So I asked them for $8,000. Again, that's probably like low. And the reason why I said that is because I need $8,000. <laughs> yeah, it would be, that, that would be, be amazing. I would be like, so most of it would go directly into savings unless we were already pregnant. Yeah. And, and then it would just be going towards baby appointments, yeah. which even then hopefully, I mean, because Morgan's on OHP, it's a whole thing. Yeah. That's a lot that's going on in regards to content creation things we found out today. So we had, um, stuff with free label that we have a collab with. And when we got the pants, they were like a size too small for Morgan. Normally, if we're like a size off from what is needed, it's typically that it's too big and we don't normally fuss with it. Yeah. It's normally, it's usually like universal standard because their sizing is kind of specific and sometimes it's with like their mystery boxes and it's like, it's kind of like not a big deal because it's not necessarily something that we're going to wear anyway. For this one, it's like very obvious that it's something that's too small. Like, um, I mean, I wouldn't say very obvious. I don't feel comfortable If, if I had had to film in it, I think it would have been fine. No, and that's essentially what I said to, to our contact is I was like, hey, like it can be photographed, but you don't look comfortable comfortable and their whole thing is clothes that are comfortable yeah so and they are comfortable, comfortable. yeah absolutely they're just so, definitely wrong size so, so they sent me they are from canada they sent it dhl express i the first time filled out a thing where i was basically like hey you know you can just drop it off you can drop it off we don't need to sign for this because it gave us like a notice it was like you're gonna sign for this and i was like no i'm fucking not like that's silly and this when they sent the new size in a 4x i forgot to do that process i don't know if it didn't prompt me i just completely spaced it so we were supposed to get them today and and have it filmed and sent and sent to them for approval um and then it we it's now being held hostage at the post office until monday so i literally sent them an email and was like i'm so sorry like we can film it and have it turned into you the other thing is that a lot of brands have like specific dates that they want like deliverables is what they call them but it's like the content sent in by for them to like look at um and this is not one that did so i didn't think it was going to be a big deal but i also always feel like it's better to err on the side of like caution and over communication we always if it's a brand that we really like especially 
especially yeah. especially we yeah. want to stay on their good side obviously yeah because yeah, i don't want them on monday at like noon to be like hey shouldn't the goofs have sent us like what their content's gonna look like because they're posting it two days from now like, yeah you know so i didn't want them to think we we're just like leaving them high and dry yeah i mean we're over communicators basically in all aspects that's so. true yeah that's very true so it's fine yes i didn't think it would be very stressful no but i was worried about it but it's something that is okay yeah so monday which we just changed our stream schedule to where we're not streaming on monday yes monday we have to film free label stuff and then our universal standard stuff as well right our universal standard stuff is not due, due until february 8th there's something else oh the cd has to get posted eva bloom we have to do that that's due on like thursday or something like february 1st we've already done eva bloom it's posted no yeah crystal brit <gasps> thank you yes crystal i was brit. like no the class oh my god class. oh my god that's so funny yes Crystal, who was doing a fair play, um, uh, like therapy. It's very cool. It's so we have to cool. film free label and the Crystal Brit thing on Monday. Yes. What day are we posting Crystal Brit? The first. I think it's Thursday. I think it's the third that we're posting. Oh, maybe. I think it's the third. Something else is doing. We planet. have a lot of content. That's I have it all written down on my planner at our house. Yes. <laughs> CBD, CBD is going live on the first. Oh yeah. No. Free label is going live on the first. CBD goes live on the thirtieth. Crystal Brick goes live on the third. Yes. It's like bop, bop, bop. Yeah. Oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> no, but I knew there was something. Yes. Anyway, so basically we have to work uh, Monday. Yes. Is all. Which would be great. I mean, we have to work every day. Right. <laughs> but I do feel like when when we're filming ad content, it is like a little bit different because it's kind of like... I think in this video, you should include those clips of us I'm trying to make to. the CBD thing. I'm going to, yeah. They're going to be like weird they'll vertical be, clips. Yeah, they'll be weird vertical clips, but... We've never. They're so funny. I think since you quit your job, though, it's like we. Not that we fought or anything. No. But like. It's more relaxed. It, everything's more relaxed. Because I'm not as worried about like creating that content. Like the stakes don't feel as we high. We just have all day to do it. And it's not that Versus I like worried. when you would work all day. And we would be doing it the last second when it was due that day. And we were sending it in at like 6 p.m. Pacific time yes. on that day. And, and so now we're not doing it. that. Right. So like we, you know, we also need to take merch photos of our merch. Yes. So the reason I kept pushing it off is because I wanted to have my bangs. Yes. And then I kept not cutting my bangs, but my bangs are back. We took a couple pictures with dad and mom, which are cute. Um, we also, the way that we do ads is like, I'm typically like the creative director is kind of the way that it works. And Sometimes I, I get to be creative director. That's true. That's when they're really silly goofy. Really silly goofy. It's funny because we have like a very different style for like how we go about oh it's because we consume things. the i would say part of the reason we are such a good uh team is because we consume radically different content that's true so like there's a cleaning video on youtube that we made that oh is of me but God. phoebe had to edit it because yeah. i'm an editor I and they were so bored the whole time it. but it gets a lot of interaction no it's because other people really like it's one it. of our most successful videos that we've ever had because i watch that kind of content i love to watch other people clean as videos. i was editing it i was like i don't know if i literally Literally was like I don't know what to leave in and what to leave out because like all of this is boring to me like it was like a 45 minute long video and I just like aired on the side of leaving things in but I was like and probably loved it I was like six minutes of this is something that I care about at all which is I and I love you and I'm so glad that you clean our house but like I fucking hate to clean the house I don't like to watch cleaning yeah I watch them to get excited to clean our house I watch other people's videos yeah um but yeah so I think we will do another one of those soon I mean maybe we'll see the problem not problem the, the thing that I am working on this year that we're both working on this year is like being the kind of people who clean like for just like 30 minutes a day to yeah. keep it. And it makes everything so much easier. Yeah. And they're, they're like habits I want to form really hard before we get pregnant and before we have a kid. Which like in before everybody's like, oh my God, your house is going to be a mess when you have a kid. Yes. We know that. Correct. It would be better to have any sort of habit stick. Yeah. Cause it's, it's Morgan's talking about me, which is okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, also like Phoebe's a great, like, um, like person to have when you're sick or like, that's true. If you've just given birth to a newborn and I would love for them to not have to work as hard to clean the house mentally. That I was very, yeah. So that's a really nice way of saying that. And it's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'll still have to get cleaned. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you won't want me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I honestly feel like house cleaning and all of those things are also so quintessentially a part of our job. And it's because those things are real work first and foremost. And then second, like that's our filming space. <laughs> I was going to say, no one wants to film in a dirty house. No, no one wants you to record in a dirty yeah. house. Like no one wants their brand to be, which is, I mean. Yeah. I think thing, something that I'm hoping to at least get started, if not done in the month of February is our mural. Yeah. Which I think will also be a really good YouTube video. Yeah. That'll be fun. But we have to buy a fuck ton of paint. Yeah. So. That's kind of everything that's going on right now. Yeah, it's almost the end of January. Yeah. We just got back from Eugene. Sorry we didn't film much in Eugene. We had a nice you time. Got the idea. Um, we have we don't normally get this many packages in one month. No. No. Phoebe ordered themselves two things though. Show them. I don't ever get myself things. That's true. And I needed some things, so these are is, these are literally needs that they've been thinking about getting for like months. It was on sale for twenty five dollars. This is a bag of the Baboon to the Moon bag that I've wanted for a really long time. Technically, Baboon to the Moon is more expensive than like other bags that are like this. The reason that I like it is because all of its like detailing is the same color, and the other bags that I see like this are like black zipper, black strap, black zipper, black, and I just don't think they're as cute. So I'm really excited about it. And then um, I didn't have a wallet, so I got the wallet from. Bagu. It matches though. It does match, yellow. which I think is fun. And then I also got from Bagu like a, a chocolate milk cow backpack. Cause I feel like I don't have a grown up backpack right now. I just have like my animal crossing one. Anyway, I've just been like really needing some bags and I keep on bitching about it. Especially cause we vlog. That's what I was gonna say. I just am recently, <laughs> I've just been recently needing to like pack up a bunch of my shit and bring it with me. And yeah. I'm just like holding a tote bag being flustered. And so it was better for me to get This them. is my pants from Free Label. Yes. So I tried on the other ones and they were small. And yeah. so they literally, I don't want to try address. They literally <laughs> overnighted um, a new pair, a size larger. And they should be, oh, they sent us another piece of art. Cute. And they should be fine. So we can actually film this tomorrow. Yeah, in a perfect world. And we'll I do. think we might... This, we said this in the vlog, but not in the influencing one. Um, I think tomorrow morning we might go, because we were supposed to be on vacation with Kyle. I said that, but anyway, yeah. we're still trying to like have a vacation. Yeah. Because we have an insemination next week and we're trying to keep good vibes. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow we might treat ourselves to like brunch in downtown Salem and then make some tiles, which are only $8. Yeah. At Create a Memory. I want to do um, light plates. Light. Plates. Light switch. Covers. Oh, covers. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Anyway, my that'll be cute. And then maybe work tomorrow afternoon a little bit. Um, I have a lot of shit to do tomorrow. <laughs> so that was that. This is from It Gets Better. Should who, be t-shirts. Yes. Who we are like, um, essentially like creators with. Yes. We talked about that a little bit, but anyway, they sent us a mug earlier. It's upstairs. So I'm not grabbing it. Oh, it's the same one. Yes. I'm always trending. Yes. It's only one. That's interesting. Well, they sent me and I'm hashtag I'm always trending. Always hashtag trending. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm always hashtag trending. <laughs> she is. It's really funny. I might tie dye it though. I think it'll be fun. That could be cute. Yeah. And then this. I feel like is, it's ironically very funny. Um, we are friends with Honey's Blowtorch. Yeah. We have bought things from them. Oh my god. And then also now we are like internet friends, and they made this dress. I didn't ask them to, but they made it. And they're they're they very sweet. Emery's lovely. It'll be great to wear in content. It's not an ad that we're doing. But it is like sometimes if we have friends and we're able to like prioritize their shit when wearing it in other content. Yes. Ah! Wait. Oh. Oh, it's a collar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. And then it's a pink dress. Like oh really pink. pink my god, that's so it's fucking cute. So cute. Stop. I'm oh obsessed. My god, it smells so good. And like the frilly. Yeah. That's so fucking cute. <laughs> She's so I think downtown. I'm going to wear this downtown tomorrow. Yeah. Depending on if I can wear my um shorts underneath. <gasps> Amazing. But yeah. um, so now we're going to go have... Oh, they wrote a note. It's upside down. Look. Aww. Here's my support. Here's treats. Here's a treat to my sweets. Heart M. That is so cute. Um, Love the collar. Very excited about yeah. this. Yeah. You got to wear that with fucking everything now. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's so cute. Um, so now we're going up for dinner yeah um the meet and greet went really well yeah it did have we filmed since after that it's hard to be filming two videos at once. it is <laughs> um the meet and greet did go really well it was nice nobody was stressful um yeah. 
Like everyone, a lot of folks wear masks, which is nice. We always yeah. wear masks because um, we're trying to get pregnant and like, we, just because like disabled creators have asked folks to continue to wear masks. We've, yeah, we've recently, I feel like this, this weekend, especially had an influx of folks leaving like weird messages or comments on our shit. Like people who are following us, who I don't know if they're hate following us or what it is, but there's been an influx of folks saying weird shit. For instance, like, oh, nice that you're not wearing masks in a restaurant where, where we were actively eating our food and we were also like wearing our masks when we weren't eating our food and then also like i filmed a little bit of morgan outside of it i don't know i just feel like obviously like everybody knows that when an influencer takes like a bikini beach picture and there's no one else on the beach it's because it's like one corner of the beach that they've chosen to take a photo in and there's like a zillion people around them you know what i mean yeah. like i feel like that's something that folks should know that like if we are filming and there's a reason why Morgan has a mask off. It's because we're super, we're away from other people. I don't we're know. Outdoors and away from people. Like, yeah. We wear our masks indoors basically all the time unless we're eating. Yeah. Or like sitting at our table or whatever. And, and it's honestly, it's so sweet that folks keep on being like, oh, like, thank you so much. Like, it really makes me feel better that you're wearing masks. I mean, it but, is like, like the bare, bare minimum. It's the bare minimum, but also like we want to be wearing masks. <laughs> like we have not gotten COVID. I don't want to get COVID. Yeah. And there are people who are getting COVID who are wearing masks anyway. And like, that is stressful. Um, but the reason the 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 first reason the easiest reason that we are wearing masks is because morgan's trying to get pregnant and we don't want her to get covid yeah because if i got covid when we were supposed to inseminate yeah like that pushes out insemination to the next month right number one also morgan has sleep apnea mm -hmm. as well as having some like weird other things it's just yeah like it would be bad news. it's it's, just, it's not good news for anybody to get covid especially so since like i didn't get covid when i was super sick a few months ago with like bronchitis at least like i never tested positive and my doctor didn't think that it was covid a couple different doctors were like i'm certain it's not COVID, but it was like great. awful it sucks to be and sick. i was like i would not want to be yeah super sick again i don't know it's anyway so yeah uh we're, we're always wearing masks. Please wear your mask. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's I don't know weird. why people hate follow anyone. I don't get it. The other message that we got was somebody. Like no, my God. The other message we got was somebody being like, weird of you to say that Salem is normal um, when it's like racist and homophobic and a terrible place to be. And we said like, quite literally, we were talking about Portland being like a big city. Yeah, we're, in, we're like. And the, so we were like, yeah, Salem, like compared to Portland, Salem's just like a normal city. And we, that's all we meant was like. Portland is like, like size wise, like population, very, very, yeah, very like, populated, lots of like, there's like a boutique for cats and right. like Salem's not going to have like boutique for cats No, or like, and, you know, and I said like the sentence that I said was like, cause the only vibe that I can give, the only vibe check we're able to give is as white queer people living in Oregon. Yeah. Like obviously that's the perspective that we have. So I said very, as like one small part of that, like, oh, like I'm not afraid to be places in Salem, which is great. Cause there have been places I've been in the South and in, in Florida Alabama, and in Alabama and, Florida, and Mississippi yeah. and Louisiana. Like uh, Morgan's from Alabama, which I think is really relevant. And it was- And comparatively- Right, it was a white queer person who's, it appears to be from Oregon and essentially said like, oh my God, like what an immense place of privilege to say you're not afraid to be in Salem. Like it's probably just cause you guys are cis passing, which is like a super cunty thing to say to <laughs> a trans person. Cause we know they're not saying that I look like a boy. Right. Like I'm trans masculine. And so what they're saying is that I look like a woman Woman. and so like and obviously I have like white woman privilege like that is something that it exists as a part of but it just seems really absurd to me sometimes people are trying to start a fight with us in our dms and we're just like we're just regular people there's also just like way bigger problems like that you could be we and try, obviously there's always really gonna hard be to speak like acknowledge our privilege and then also yeah help like folks of other communities that we're not a part of when we can. Right. Such as like by wearing masks or advocating for other people to wear a mask. Yeah. Even though we're not really part of the disabled community. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. It's just like, it's it's weird times on the As internet. As part of a month of influencing, we're also including, hey, we get a lot of mean messages that we don't talk about very much. Yeah. And like, these aren't even the meanest ones we've gotten no this, this new year no but they not are even like, this week <laughs> yeah but they are it's like it's hard when that happens and like i don't know it's not the it's 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 easily the worst part of my job and that's not nearly as bad as no. lots of other people's jobs so yes. it's, it's not about that like we're coming from a place of privilege i guess i just would hope that like 
if someone's watching this who has a tendency to comment snotty things on people's videos, please know that like it does hurt the person's feeling. They probably are going to see it. And also it just like, I don't, I'm, I don't under accomplish anything. No. And I don't, honestly, I don't think the majority, probably like 99% of the people who are watching our stuff, they feel the same way that we do, that that's something silly to do and you shouldn't really say anything. Also like if it's not it's us, nice. but you are like hate watching someone else, like, hey babes, it's, it's not good for, for your brain. It's not going to make you feel that better. Your time. No. Uh uh. It's better to only like consume, you know. I think that's the other thing is that we try to make our, com our, our community, our online space, a place where folks feel comfy and like aren't, I don't know. Like it's a little bit of escapism. You know what I mean? Like the content that we're making is like we're posting silly, goofy things. Yeah. We're not typically posting like serious or stressful things. We and try, like we repost and share like people who are more educated and more well-spoken yeah. when it comes to serious things because we still want to use our platform to like yeah. get those serious topics out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like we don't speak on them because we, like I have creators that I go watch who I don't, I hope they're not talking about like the news because I want to go watch to have a good time. Yeah, but we also like we, in our uh, streaming, like we fundraise for Trans Empowerment Project every two months, which has a focus on um, like queer uh, and trans women of color, which is really cool and like getting those folks um, uh, like housing and jobs. Yeah, housing and, and jobs, like all these yeah, resources, resources is the word that I was looking for. And then we're also gonna do a um, candle collab with a small business where a dollar from the profits for each candle are going to support the Quileute Tribes Move to Higher Ground I'm Initiative. So excited for that. Which I'm really, really excited about. They also, they're really cute. They were super excited and they also are like Twilight fans. So they're like, oh my God, I'm obsessed that this is like the one that y'all wanted to support. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess we're, uh, truthfully, we're just trying to live as, as ethically on the internet as is possible. And it's, it's hard to I do. think it's just like, we, we don't mind like criticism that's genuine and we've had it before. Absolutely. We've had like black creators reach out and be yeah. like, Hey, something that you said in this video, Absolutely. the way that you phrased it, maybe yeah. next time phrase it like this. Yeah. And we're like, Oh my God, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. That's not something we would have noticed as white creators. Yeah. Like, that's absolutely something we can do in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what's so frustrating is when people just want to be snotty. Yeah. Like, I'm like, we work really hard to, like, accept valid criticism. It's, and... it's also really strange to me because it's very, like, um, what's it called? It's, like, virtue signaling, but that person is only doing it to themselves, themselves yeah, no and to gonna... us. And they probably don't even think that we're going to see it. So it's like, what? Like, what are you? Does it make you? I can't, it can't be making them feel better about themselves. I don't know. It can't. I don't know. But, you know, overall. Yes, sorry. <laughs> We're in a good spot. We had a great time. Right we, had now, a, we had a lovely, a lovely little experience. I'm excited for tomorrow. We also started canceling streams on Monday, like for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Just because, like, what happens is, like, Sunday was essentially our only day off. <laughs> yeah. And then it wasn't ever a day off because we were doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, tomorrow we're, just, we're filming tomorrow. Yeah. And... Tomorrow will be more of a day off in the morning, and even then, it's not really a day off because we are out doing things that we're filming. Yeah. Um, but it'll be like fun and relaxing and like sweet. Yeah. And then Phoebe's working on editing in the afternoon. I will probably work on some sewing projects and um, cleaning. Yeah. Because if, if I'm ever not on stream, I'm probably cleaning That's or organizing. True. Yeah. I, it's something I love to do. Yeah. And I, I like having a clean house. Yeah. And it doesn't bother me because I get to listen to musical theater. Yeah. Um, I have some emails I literally need to send after dinner tonight. Because yeah. we were away from our computer mm -hmm. all weekend. You're, I'm allowed to extend working hours when we have been... Working all day? Having fun all day. Only fun. Not working. We hung out with our friend Jay. It was really That's nice. Sweet. That was not work. It was very sweet. We didn't even film it. No. We got we got a boba tea. Oh my god, y'all. If you live in Eugene or anywhere in Oregon, please go to the rabbit hole. In Eugene? There's a fruity little barista that works there oh, who's my new favorite so person I'm in the world. I'm desperately trying to find their Instagram. If anybody knows the fruity little barista who works the rabbit hole, they're so cute. They had on a lavender shirt. They were so cute. They had big, like, Jake Wesley Rogers energy, but I didn't want to tell them that in case they didn't know. Who they were so cute. They told us a story about um, getting tested, which was just so cute. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we tweeted it. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's almost the end of the month. We're filming a lot today. Um, we, we are, and I actually have to take my brother-in-law to the courthouse in an hour and a half. Yeah. Which, like, the things we're filming actually won't take very long. It'll be so fine. It's mostly TV editing who's not going to the courthouse. Well, I just edited and posted our museum post. That one's good. Um, we were supposed to post our CBD thing today. We couldn't. We sent them in our rough draft, and they um, didn't like it. They weren't rude at all. They were nice. Them not being rude is the most important part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most important part. We can refilm. Like, that's not a big deal. Um, 
it seems like what they wanted us to do is just like sit in front of the camera and talk candidly about like why we use CBD, which to me doesn't make any sense because in their specific rules that they have, they say you're not allowed to talk about like medical things or like essentially you're not it's supposed to talk about the benefits of CBD. So you're not supposed to be like this, this product will right. And that's obviously we weren't going to say that. I was just going to say like, I take it when I get a migraine, which is true. And then I take it when like before bed to like try and sleep harder, which is true. And Morgan doesn't because she's trying to get pregnant. So, I mean, if we say that Morgan takes it, I guess we'll be lying or maybe I'll just talk me personally. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, they just essentially, we sent them like a cute little voiceover that we did with like all the clips of us like being cute with it. Cause they also want you to be like showing it in the video, yeah. which is the thing is like, I don't know how we're supposed to review like the bath bomb, for instance. No, cause they, oh, they also don't want us to be using they it. They said this. Yeah. They don't want us to be using any of the products. We're not allowed to be eating it. We are not, not allowed, allowed to be smoking or vaping. Suits. Yeah. So anyway, it was just like a lot of rules. It also, part of their like phrasing, to me, it sounded like they were saying you have to do, they said essentially like you need to choose a family friendly song, sound, or do your own voiceover. And so I was like, oh, okay, I guess we'll just do voiceover. And like, you can't do voiceover if you're sitting talking at a camera. Mm -hmm. That's not possible. So, and I literally in the thing said like, oh, like we find sounds to feel really inorganic, but they were like, we love how engaged your audience is. Like we love how like, you know, the content that you guys create feels like con, like it doesn't feel contenty, like it doesn't feel addy, but it feels, you know, people are still engaged in it. Um, I don't know. It was just really interesting to me. So I guess we'll see how that goes. I think it's gonna be fine again. They're really sweet. Natalie's really sweet. I just, I don't know. I don't know, what they want. I don't know what brands expect from us when they give us like a shit ton of guidelines. It feels like every single brand is like, can you please make something like super like natural as if you just picked up your phone and started recording. But also we need you to say these six things and like this specifically and like this. In normal conversation. Yeah. Like, I'm begging for. Yeah. Is for us to be able to do an ad one day. That would be like just the silly parts of our yeah. trying to film this. Yeah. Like where we don't talk about the product. It's just, it's, we just have it and we are just ourselves. Yeah. And then we'd be like, any, oh, also this was an, it's supposed to be an ad. You know, but like, because like, you, you know, when they make those like really, like the Cheerios commercial that they play at Christmas back in the day. And like Cheerios just happens to be in the commercial, but it's like, here's a grandma, like giving Cheerios to the baby. And then you're like, it's supposed to make you cry because you think about your own grandma. It doesn't make you cry because you think about Cheerios. I want us to do that, but instead of it being sad, it's just funny. Listen, I can just send them our clips of us talking to each <laughs> other about it because they are fucking funny. Like, it's really... It'll I mean, be viral. Yeah, it's hilarious. I don't know. It's strange. It's strange, so I guess we'll see how that email goes over. It is going to, like, push out our, like, posting dates. I also, I just don't understand why if brands want something specific from us, like, why they don't just say that. Like, we'd love a video of you sitting and talking about the Here's product. I, that's what literally what Amazon did. Yes! And it was fine. Like, it wasn't our vibe. But, no. Like, they paid us twice as much as we'd ever been paid at that point. Yeah. And they said, here's a script for you. Do this. And we were like, okay. Yeah. Sure. Which, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Interesting. Hello. Hello. Okay. The wrap up for February. Um, something for January. That's what I meant. I know what month it was and what this is now. Um, our we have a uh, two big collabs that'll be coming up in February. Mm -hmm. One of them we have not filmed for yet because everybody else's were really close and choppy together. So we'll be filming for that in a couple of days. We don't have to send in our draft until the eighth of February. Um, and then another one is a big company that anyway they it's pair. Uh, I uh, no 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 paired paired. There's too many names that are the same Paired fucking name. The app. Paired the app. Who we did one with with what we did one with in like September? Yeah, they were cool. Um they want to work with us again and uh they didn't respond to a couple of our emails. Or no, they anyway, it doesn't matter. Basically, I was like, hey, just checking in to make sure you guys are still good to go for whatever we're doing since we haven't like signed anything. And they were like, oh, we're going to push it out to March. So that is fine and whatever. And we actually just might not end up having that deal at all if they are not able to do it in March, which is also OK. But it's just kind of like the way it works. Like yeah. sometimes you can't not listen a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So you don't know that you're paid till you're paid. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Basically. That's true. Um, we did a cute little wrap-up video on TikTok, but in the vicinity for, like, ads that we made this, for money that we made from ads, 
this month, we made like $2,400 basically. Uh, that is including the small brands where we typically get paid the day that we post them as well as ads that are from like last month or a couple months ago that we're now getting paid for. Um, we made like right around a thousand dollars on Twitch, like almost 900 on Patreon and then like 190 on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here with us on YouTube. Yeah. Thanks. We appreciate Thanks that. Thanks for being here with us anywhere. That's so true. That's so true. But since we're, this is YouTube, thanks. Since you, you are here on the YouTube. We love that. Thanks. Um, yeah. So that's what's going on. Um, in terms of money that we are waiting on, that our shit that's actually done, it's right around, I can't do the math on that. So we're waiting on 3,000, 4,100? Four, 4, essentially plus six what are you doing oh ones that we have posted already what yeah no oh. ones ones that we are like in the process of working on we've signed shit for those Never will mind, be happening then. right around 4700 i think which is a shit ton That's of insane. money bonkers absolutely bonkers um Again, it's really important to me that we continue to be honest about wage transparency, just because I feel like a lot of people who are influencers didn't start with wage transparency when they were making the tax bracket of money that we are making. And so I think that if they were to share now, they would become very quickly super unlikable. Um, because yeah, if we were ever making like a hundred thousand, I would hope we were still being wage transparent. Um, and we were using those resources to help those like around us. I think the thing is that like it, for me personally, it is never going to make me feel bad to share this information because it's really important to us that like creators of color know that they can ask for more money. Yes. That creators who we are know creators of color who have like millions of followers who, who don't get PR, who don't get, yeah. Who don't get like, Nearly who only get like pay or uh, gifted collabs. And we're yes. like, you gotta. And they, they don't got anything. No, the brands no, no, no. need to step the fuck up, but people need to know that that like, is... You have to be armed with the knowledge that, like, I know white creators who have yes, less than half a million. Exactly. We also know much. thin creators who are getting paid a lot more than we are. And I am yeah. certain that creators that are fatter than us are getting paid less than we are. Mm -hmm. So, in general, I think it helps everyone for folks to know this. So, if we are making $100,000 this year... That, I don't think that'll happen. I, don't, I, really, I really don't think I that'll think that happen. could happen in, like, three or four or five yeah. years yeah 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 um last year in total what did we make influencing influencing Twitch? like twenty thousand. no it was like thirty thousand i think thirty thousand dollars with everything which is between the two of us right that's true <laughs> so that's fifteen thousand dollars that's each. that's true so it's obviously that is a number where nobody's gonna be like oh my god clearly you guys that job's so easy and you just quickly make and the other thing that i think is really important is that we've got a couple, anytime we talk about the amount of money that we're making, um, we get a couple of folks being like, oh my God, I really wish that this was my job. And like, I also wish it was your job. Something that's really important that is, we don't talk about quite as much is that this was like two years of not getting paid before we were at this Yeah, point. we started posting on TikTok, not even like as influencers, but yeah. like posting consistently in early 2020, mid 2020. Yeah during quarantine and right now it's 2023 and yeah. i was doing a lot of work on tiktok just like building our following doing those things and it wasn't even with the intention really of us not at first having this as a job yeah um we just were like super super lucky and again the reason we got the first like chunk of our following the first like eighty thousand folks was just from texas roadhouse um which is wild yeah and also is wild because if you look back at that video we only had five hundred thousand views on it yeah so it's not even like it's not our most popular video in a long the most popular one we had fucking the nft video got nine million views oh my god i had to turn off comments because it men was too were many nft bros being like Ugh. you just don't you get it hate you guys don't get it somebody fucking called us misandrists and i think that we should I'm just gonna do a tattoo of it. <laughs> it's me <laughs> sorry sorry that um, what you're doing is paying for a beanie baby that doesn't exist yeah it's unhinged but anyway um yeah we want to continue to be like 
honest, open. Yeah. I think the other thing is like fingers crossed we get pregnant this year. Yeah. And timeline wise, that would be great. Yeah. Cause like, who knows if we'll be, we could be making less money next year. Like we don't, That's true. we literally have no idea. That's very true. Um, I do think that like the skills that I'm learning in this job, like we had a couple people comment on a TikTok I just posted about wage transparency things being like, Oh my God, I want you to be my manager. And like, I think I'd be a fucking great social media manager yeah, for, if some, it doesn't work for somebody out. else. If this, if Listen, we decide I to think not you do could this. be a doctor. <laughs> why you just like i think it'd be really and like i don't think it would happen but i think you'd be like if you were a reproductive endocrinologist you know what i mean yeah or if you were an OBGYN. that's very sweet of you you know what i mean we I had think, a stream today where i, I think for you a could handle it and you would do a good job however if you started now you could be a doctor in 12 years wow which is important to gosh i actually would love to be a midwife yeah. i don't know what training looks like for that i would love to be a doula would they still call you a midwife a mid-husband a mid there are male midwives it's, but is that still the name midwifery. of it? Midwifery. It is, yeah. But that's what I mean, because it comes from midwifery, right? Yeah. And they're still, yeah, they're boy midwives. Yeah. It's still a midwife. Like, it's still. Anyway, all that to say, we're excited and it's honored. Nice farting. Sorry. That guy's just farting out He's the window. He's farting outside. I talked a lot about reproductive health today is what happened about PCOS and other things on stream, which was cute. Morgan was very sweet about it. But anyway, people just had a lot of questions. All I do is listen to podcasts, so I don't actually know anything. You're very smart. Thank you. You're very cute. Um, But yeah, we fucking love our job. Yeah. We're excited to be here. Please, if you're someone who's creating content and you're not getting paid and you want to be getting paid, um, email me and I will send you. We have a couple different like Canva templates for uh like rates essentially things that you can use i have one that i made for our friend kyle that i think i might just like take off their information from it and like make up fake numbers you can also if you're friends with any other like influencers or even social media managers like i you know i know plenty of people who like they are not the influencer they're the person who talks to influencers that's true yeah um like use your resources i mean without tendrils. obviously yeah obviously like please pay people for their time or yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. offer at least like a coffee or something for people's time but um yeah don't be afraid to ask questions especially if you are cre trying to be a creator and you have other like creator friends yeah absolutely absolutely because most of the time they're willing to share and if they're not willing to share then that's i mean it's a little strange i don't know i don't know i don't think everybody has to post no 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 but like if you are somebody who's on tiktok and you are mutuals with creators post mutuals only yeah things so that they see it and say like, this is what I'm getting paid. If you'd like to share what you're getting paid. Cause we do that on our, I do that on, on our TikTok, and we get a lot of responses from folks being like, like literally one time we posted like, Oh, this is how much I'm getting paid by so-and-so what's everybody getting paid by so-and-so. And then a shit ton of people respond and we're like, Oh my God, they're paying me this. And everybody's like, ha ha ha. They asked us all, didn't they? You know what I mean? So like that community is important. Um, Clara for creators is a really great website and app that you can apply for where you can write reviews on brands and say like how much you made. Um, if you worked with them through an agent, and see like other things like that like what platform it was on um that has been really super helpful to us um yeah that's kind that's kind of that's that's january um we're not gonna be able to do one of these videos every month because they are the most They're, time consuming I mean, this video is an hour and a half right <laughs> yeah yeah they take a lot of time and then it's also like a lot not, of time to edit it's also like so on top of every ad that we film during the month we then have to remember like oh yeah we also need to film for the influencer video like a check-in yeah so it's like it's almost doubling the work not quite because obviously no. like we forget a lot mm -hmm. so there's that it's like adding extra work though and, and i really like making them but that's why we can't do them every month yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think we'll do like try to do a couple a year yeah but we'll see i feel like it'd be spicy for us to do another one for either for pride month or right after pride month pride month is what we did last year yeah which was Pride Month was bonkers, and then we got no ads for July or August. Which is wild because then we made ten thousand dollars from ads in November, mm -hmm. which was not something that we yeah. Had it's not at all. a consistent job. No, but we're building up our savings now. That's true. We're gonna definitely owe money in taxes. We haven't done that stuff yet. It's gonna be spicy That's the next week. Problem. It is. It is. But it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a wild time. It's a wild job to have. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Um, I also, this is maybe like kind of silly, but I feel like when, and like boo capitalism, but like when people are like investors in a company, there's like quarterly meetings to be like, this is what's going on. And like a lot of y'all are not paying us anything, but just by being here, like- You are investors. You are. You invest your time. You are, and we really appreciate that. And so this is kind of like our, our little meeting to be like, yeah. hey, this is what's going on. Like this is- this is the vibe. You're a part of this. Yeah. And we appreciate you so fucking much. Yeah. And also, if you're just nosy, I love that too. I'm nosy. Yeah. 
Okay, we love you. We love you. We'll see you with a regular vlog soon. Bye.